Hello everybody, here I am with another big step toward making a good train system for Godot and this time I added layers for height map. Before further to do, let me show you what is going on here. But please note, if you don't know how the brush system work, please watch my other video in the video description. So this is my train, this time beside data directory we have a layer data directory too. Also this time, if you go to the paint mode, you can see here we have a tab for adding multiple layers. Let me draw something in the background layer. Okay, now I just add another layer and I call that river. And then I select that layer and I sculpt a river here. As this river is selected, now I can change its visibility. Or if I want, I can merge that to the background layer. Please note the order of the layers are not important because all of them add together. Now let me add another layer and I call that road. So I can sculpt a road here. You can see same as before, I can change its visibility. Also I can remove that. One thing to note guys, if you want to create a really large train with this plugin, at least to developing your game, you need a very good computer. Each of these layers will go to RAM memory. Of course, you will merge them for final product, but at least for developing, you need a good computer. This layer system also gives us a lot of flexibility for adding other stuff to train like roads, but not with the brush, with a path. And as you watch this video up to this point, let me share with you something. Today, I looked at the first train video in my channel and it was for two months ago. You know this thing is getting more complicated and I really struggle to motivate myself to continue to work. I think all of you which work on a big project understand what I am saying. Two months ago, I didn't know how much deep is the rabbit hole of train. It was really wrong growth. You know this work is really hard for one person, but I want to use this train system in my game and why not sharing that with you. I don't know how much longer this will take but I need to motivate myself to continue. Now I want to enter another rabbit hole and that is grass. This will be really complicated. Right now as the player enter in an area with high density of the grass, frame rate will drop. I have two optimization solutions which both should be applied and hopefully this problem will be solved. Some of you which followed me in this time, you know at each progress point of my train, I published a video and I don't know how many more I should publish. And thank you for your heartwarming comment and likes. Have a good time. Till the next video, bye.